So welcome back to another tutorial on Star Sector. Today we are looking at ships. As before, remember, this is just my preference. These ships that are mentioned here are those that I would go in my playthroughs in various stages of the game. And so if I left one of your favorite ships, leave it down below in the comments and tell me why you like it. So if you have no other questions, let's get started. Early game. The first ship we mention is the Hammerhead Glass Destroyer. This ship is the best ship for the early game. I usually mix anti-armor and anti-shield damage so it's nicely balanced. This ship has a great mobility for a destroyer, but the best thing is the firepower of this thing. It has great weapon slot and it has a lot of them. Also the special ability lets you overload the weapon system so you can burst someone down really fast. Next one on the list is the Tri-Class Light Destroyer. This ship I tend to leave even for the mid to late game. You can see the ship loadout on the screen. I use it mainly for its decent firepower combined with amazing speed. Not only that, the special feature of this ship is a dash that also adds nice amount of speed. I use it mostly for engaging retreating fleets and I would recommend bringing two of these into the early game. Ok, the next is the Sunder Glass Destroyer. If you like firepower and hammerhead, this is the other ship for you. Again, it has a decent mobility and lots of great weapon slots and even one lark. This ship has amazing firepower and the only thing you have to be careful about is what you put on it because you can get overloaded pretty fast if you're not careful. And now let's talk fast about the fuel and cargo ships. For the fuel just get a regular fuel tanker, it should be good enough for the early to mid game. And as for the cargo ships I rushed the Colossus because it has huge storage space. The only thing put on the goddamn thing, Oakman Drive Field, so we can increase the burn speed. Mid game. So the first ship we go for in the mid game is the Dominator Heavy Cruiser. This is a one trick pony kind of thing. It has insane frontal firepower. The only weakness of the ship is getting flanked. It also has many rocket pods and great frontal armor. Combine it with the special ram ability and you have a great combo. Ok so the next ship is Eagle Cruiser. After I fell out of love with the Dominator, I went for this ship. It has a nice mix of kinetic and energy weapons. I usually go with the long range loadout on this ship. Also, I came to prefer this ship over the Dominator in piloting, because at least for me, it's much easier to manage the flux. And now finally some carriers. You have two choices, Mora, which you see on the screen, and Heron. It does not matter which one you choose, Mora has more firepower and Heron is faster. I won't go over the weapon loadouts. So quick tips and recommendations for bombers take things like Kopesh bombers or longbow bombers. And as for the escort, take something like Xyphos or Broadsword. Late game. And now we are at the fun part. Here you can choose whatever ship you like. But let's start with, in my opinion, and the reddits, the strongest ship in the game. It's the Paragon. It is a Tracheon battleship. It is based around energy weapons. And man, it has a lot of them. And what's more insane, it has a great amount of flux and it increases the range of the all energy weapons by 100%. So things like this happen. The onslaught can't even scratch me from this distance. And next we have the Legion. Oh, you expected the Astral? No one cares. Okay, so it's the Hegemony Battle Carrier. Oh, I prefer this one because it has an insane firepower. It has good armor and kinda decent speed. And it has a good enough hangar space as well. And as you can see, it is really good at hand-to-hand -hand fighting. And it is a carrier. So yeah, get this ship. And now, before we get to my favorite large ship, let's talk about cargo and fuel. In the late game, get the Prometheus for the fuel and Atlas for the cargo. These are the most efficient and take less ship space compared to the small ones. Also take augmented drive field and efficiency overhaul. And now my favorite, it's the Conquest Battleship. So you can usually find it in Persian League trade centers. I just love flying this ship. It has shit ton of weapons and great speed. 
But the best thing is the flux management. I can shoot my butt off for long periods of time. And then I just can vent it off super fast. But remember guys, this is just my list. Other ships are also super fun. And also experiment, try different loadouts and have fun. And on my last video, there were some helpful comments. So if you have something to share with the new people, write it down below. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.